Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Framed Friday. I think Trevor already started with today's project, so let's have a look. Ready to start, Trevor? Yeah, got the image here today that we're going to be framing. It's a really cool abstract cosmic image and uh, we're going to dry mount it, frame it and get some nice non-reflective glass on it and uh, have a great product at the end. So I've uh, measured my image up for its dimensions and then going to uh, measure out enough foam board so we've got about an inch excess around the uh, circumference of the image. So uh, this poster has uh, been uh, printed on a really heavyweight paper, it's nice and sturdy and thick, uh, which is great but it means that if you try and uh, frame a poster that's been rolled up then it's going to want to fight back so the customer has asked us to dry mount this so it will pull the image nice and flat and uh, it will frame a lot more easily. We're not really worrying about this um, causing any creases or uh, folds in the paper because it's such a thick, good quality. We've got a beautiful flat image now and the uh, well, customer wants no mount around the outside so all we have to do is uh, trim it up to the image and uh, then stick it in the front. Just brought the picture back over to the framing uh, area. Just measured it up so we've got the dimensions and now we're uh, going to go see what frame the uh, customer has chosen. So we have a nice quality wooden frame here with a beautiful black veneer on the outside, I think it'll look really smart. So before making up the frame, we always uh, check the moulding for any defects or imperfections, just so we don't start producing a frame and then find out that we have scratches and dents already in it. If there is some uh, in the moulding, then we can account for that and cut them out. But normally this is a really good quality, so uh, we have no, no troubles with them. This side is uh, looking just a little bit too long. We'd uh, just want to shave off uh, one extra mil. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces cut, now we uh, need to join it all together. So for this frame we're looking at 15mm uh, wedges, so 12 mils, just come about halfway, but a uh, 15 will just come up a bit further still. So for uh, wooden frames, we just use regular uh, PVA glue. So 
So the customer has re, uh, requested non-reflective glass. And this has a special coating one side which uh, stops uh, reflections from being quite as harsh. Nice little tip is um, if you put some uh, dark card behind your glass, then it shows up any smudges and fingerprints and marks a lot clearer than having a, a light background. So just put a couple of little tacks in here just to uh, hold the picture in place so you can flip it and have a look at the uh, image side. Now we're just checking for any uh, foreign debris or uh, marks we may have missed on the, the inside of the glass. I can see one already. Okay, so second time. Okay, so now we know that the uh, front of the image is dust free. We're going to uh, just seal the back with some uh, framers tape just to make sure no dust can get into the front of the uh, image. Use the uh, flexible tabs to uh, push the image into the uh, to, towards the glass on this picture. So we can just use regular staples to uh, attach the, the hardboard back. And that's, that's no problem at all. Okay, so that's the hardboard attached to the back now. We'll just go around with the framers tape. Nothing worse than uh, an unsightly knot on the back of a beautiful frame. So we do our very best to uh, make a knot as good as our frames look. Second worst thing, other than an ugly knot, is uh, a, a floppy string. Just to finish up tying the string, making it look neat, we just put some framers tape around the end just to finish it off and get rid of any frayed edges. Now the back's finished, just have a quick look over the rest of the picture, do final quality control. Yeah, some poppy candy. Maybe a little bit. No. Definitely can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. mm. you happy with it? Yeah, it's turned out really well. Huh? Yeah. Do like this molding. It's a new range that we have in. Slightly more uh, premium, and uh, yeah, comes out lovely. Really nice modern effect on uh, the images. Definitely, uh, definitely worth having. So the artwork is framed, um, I'm very happy how the event turned out, it's a very interesting artwork, I'm always happy having such work in, um, in our, our framing shop here. Um, if you want to know more about the framing shop I leave the link to our website in the description, um, otherwise see you next time, bye bye.